Hey guys, it's Jessica Hayes. So I'm really happy to be back with one of my lip swatch videos. Today I'm going to be swatching the entire collection of the Necromancy Cosmetica Matte Lipsticks. If you've been with me for a while, you probably already realized that I use these lipsticks quite a lot. I love the very unique shade range. So there's tons of colors to get through, so I will be swatching every single color first and then be giving a review on the colors and the formula at the end. So if you would like to see all of these Necromancy Cosmetica lipsticks swatched, then keep watching.
So that was all 32 of the Necromancy Cosmetica matte lipsticks. I hope you guys enjoyed all of those lip swatches. It did take me a minute to put that together because there are so many. And in the past, I used to just go for it, but you know, my lips would end up being ruined after so many. So now I fit it into a few days so that my lips aren't too gross and crunchy for you guys while I'm swatching. This is the review slash my favorites part of these style lip swatch videos. So first off, let's talk about the texture of the Necromancy Cosmetica Matte Lipsticks. These have been a staple for me for so long now. I have probably been wearing them for hmm, maybe four years now. And I absolutely love this brand. It's obviously cruelty free and vegan as is everything on this channel, but I love that they're handcrafted as well. Necromancy is just a little indie brand based in Puerto Rico. So I love to support indie companies and they stand for such amazing things as well. So the company also has a cat or a kitten foster adoption rescue on the side as well. So they do a lot to help animals in need, which I absolutely love that concept as well. So not only are they an awesome company, but they're also a company that gives back to animals. So that's just totally a win-win for me. But enough about how awesome they are. The formula is one of my favorites. I have lately been kind of not staying away from, but wearing less liquid lipsticks. I still really love a liquid lipstick formula, but as I get older and my lips are getting a little more crinkly, let's just say crinkly instead of wrinkly, uh, I find that the liquid lipsticks just sometimes make my lips look like an old butthole by the end of the day. So I like the creaminess of a matte lipstick. So for people that don't like a liquid lipstick but still really like that matte formula because it stays on so well, these are going to be absolutely perfect for you. They aren't a true matte nor are they non-transferable. They're more of a satiny kind of matte but they stay on really well. All of these colors, the darker ones, I have put on with a lip brush and that's what I do most of the time. I never really bother wearing a lip liner with these. Uh, if you wanted to wear one with like a darker red or the black or the really dark colors, then go for it. But it's not necessary because I find that they're matte enough that they don't bleed into fine lines. And because they are more of a creamy texture, you can reapply them without getting crunchy or too much product on your lips like you do sometimes with a liquid lipstick. The one thing that I love about this line is that there's no boring colors in the line. They're all very unique colors, colors that you can't get from other brands. So that's one of my favorite things about this company. Uh, so I'm going to narrow it down to about four or five favorites because Honestly, I do really love all of these shades. A few of my favorites that I wear more often than the others are this one, Divine Flesh, is honestly one of my all the time go-tos. This I wear pretty much every day at work because it's, you know, a little bit of color, it's a little bit nude. It pretty much goes with everything. It's just a really good everyday color. Another one that I absolutely love is this yellowish mustardy lipstick. This is Solus Mortem and oh my gosh, it it took me a long time to even open it up and wear it because I was like, I can't wear a yellow lipstick. And then I saw a few other people swatching it and it looked so amazing. But I do really, really love this unique shade. Most of the time I will mix it in with a different color. Uh, so sometimes if I've done like a yellowy mustard look on my eyes and then you know, I add a nudie lipstick, but it's too like pinky or too beige. And I want it to be a little more, not monochromatic, but just have that kind of similar color tone in it. I will just dab this yellow over the top. I also really love this as a yellow cream blush for underneath the eyes or on the cheeks as well. This is perfect if you love yellow blush. Another one of my favorites, which I wear all the time is Terra Matta. So this is like a grayish brownie kind of color. It's almost like a uh, Sebastian from OCC, but a little browner and just a little richer. And I love wearing that all over. That's one of my favorite go-to lip shades. If I just want 
something a little more color than just your lighter kind of grayish color. One more shade that I don't have with me right now because it's always in my bag is Paper Flowers. So I just love this one because it's still a really pretty wearable pink, but it does carry a lot more cooler undertones. It's almost like the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick Haze, but a little lighter and brighter. So it's got that, that romantic, cool tone, beigey, rosy pink, and I wear that all the time if I want just a little bit of color. One more favorite before I could honestly say something great about every single color in this line, but another one that I do wear a lot is Bonfire Dance. This is a great orangey red, but it carries more of a a brownish undertone so it's not like a true in-your-face orange red so if I want to do like maybe a daytime orange red for work or something that's a little more toned down than your really bright poppy oranges I absolutely love this color I love it for summer I love it for fall as well it's a really really versatile color so that about wraps it up. If you guys have any questions about this formula or this brand, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you've tried them as well. I have been meaning to do this swatch video for you guys for so long because this has been one of my favorite brands for a really long time. So I'm finally glad that I got this together and I hope that this was helpful for any of you that wanted to try the Necromancy Cosmetica lipsticks. I do have an affiliate discount code and I will leave that in the description box below. If you guys purchase anything, you can use my code for a small discount. That about wraps it up, you guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm sorry if I bored you with my awkward poses after the lipstick swatches, but basically there's not much to do to change it up when you're swatching 32 lipsticks. So I apologize for that. No, I don't actually. It is what it is. Um, anyways, I'll stop rambling, you guys. Thank you and goodbye.